right, it's about time that I give you guys an update on what I've been doing for the past few weeks. Here it is, my first bus. That's the one that I've been driving for many years. Boom, this is the second one. Remember, this is the one that I picked up about a couple of months ago. You ever own a bus? Nah, no, man. No? I was able to find it not too far from where I live at a very good price because it was kind of in rough shape, right? It needed a lot of body work, it needed a lot of rust repair, basically where you have to cut a bunch of metal off and then you have to replace it with new one, right? And so that's what I've been doing for the past few weeks, uh, yeah, I don't know, six weeks or so. And so I decided not to put that, not to record that and make it into a video because, well, videos take a long time to, you know, plan and shoot and stuff. And, and so I wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. And um, that's why I decided not to cover that part of the conversion, right? Uh, because it's just restoration work, right? And um, I don't know how many of you guys would find the restoration process uh, interesting, right? I'm pretty sure some of you would, but I decided not to so that I can do it in a quick fashion, right? All right, now that we have all that part done, or mostly done, right? I still have to do certain things like, you know, patch this hole here because I'm not going to put it, an antenna there. Um, now the fun part begins, which is the electrification of this right right now this thing is ready to go it's it's a car that it's mostly done i still have to work on the on the brakes a little bit uh but it's mostly mechanically there it's just missing an engine and missing everything else that makes it go right and so i'm going to put uh, an electric motor and batteries and so that's the part that I am going to make a video because you guys are probably gonna find that interesting and so that is the part that is coming next all right before we do that let's talk a little bit about the mechanicals of this car this is what I've done uh, this is looks a little bit different from what an original bus would look like because the suspension has been upgraded and what I've basically done is put a bay window beam in front right this is the the part that goes in the front that has the suspension uh, and a bay window has a different kind of suspension it's called ball uh, it's a ball joint suspension right and so that makes it have a better ride a smoother ride it can handle a little bit more weight and so that's the reason why I did that. And then, of course, we got uh, aftermarket uh, wheels. These are Porsche Fuchs, right? And these come in that bolt pattern that it's, this is a 112, 5112, right? So this is a bolt pattern that the bay windows have. And that's the reason um, why these ones are different than the ones in the back, because the ones in the back are for the different bolt pattern, right? So that's the suspension in the front. The suspension in the back that is also upgraded and that is from a later bug suspension right and this is what it's called an irs uh independent suspension right so that means each axle is independently than the other one where the other one was a swing axle uh and that's the older version which is this bus has right so this one is also upgraded to a bug version right a beetle version but it's one of the swing axles and that one is done just so that you can lower it and so the axles are not in too much of an angle but this one right here allows you to do a bunch of stuff right um, it just rides better you could change the transmission without taking the wheels because you just have to remove those axles there and then the suspension comes i mean the, the transmission comes out so the car is actually being held on his own right now because it's got an extra arm over there right and that's an adaptation um that you can do uh the bay windows also buses which you know started in 68 and 70s and stuff they also had an independent or an irs suspension in the back uh and the arms look a little bit different but i decided to go with these because it was a little bit cheaper and so 
we'll tr test this out, right? Um, also, upgrade it all the way around. Are these are the Porsche Fuchs, but but these are the Porsche uh, bolt pattern. These are five one thirty, and this is the traditional, you know, nine eleven, all those, right? And so. I'm gonna figure out how to either change these ones to look like the front or the front to this one, right? But uh, that's just aesthetic. As far as the, the mechanicals, all the way around, I have disc brakes uh, and I also have a uh, Willwood calipers, right? Which are, you know, I don't know, an aftermarket caliper of somewhat good quality, I guess. It's not like super high-end quality, but it's way better than the original stock. Uh, the uh, drum brakes that this this vehicles used to have so there we go also another advantage of doing this whole upgrade is that uh well you can put later like mo more modern transmissions right uh this one is probably like from the 70s i think you could even go as, as far late as like almost 80s there's even one transmission in the 80s or late 70s that was automatic and i think you can use one of those i i don't think anyone's done it but i don't see why it would be impossible um it probably wouldn't be the best idea because those are not the most reliable they were only in Volkswagen's uh of that era for a few years and they're not there's they're not super common so i don't think they were very popular uh i don't think mechanically they're super reliable but i know of a couple of people that are doing builds using big motors you know ice you know internal combustion motors uh you know with turbos and stuff and they're they're putting uh automatic transmissions now with the electric stuff we don't have to do it because uh, essentially that our motors have enough torque to to be able to drive these cars uh almost as an automatic fashion you don't have to shift gears uh i can drive around mine in third and you know down and uh, it was up to like 60 plus uh miles per hour right so you could in theory not shift at all i used to i usually only shift to fourth when i'm on the freeway and 70 plus miles right um so the other cool thing about this is that the once we start putting tesla motors as uh, there's a few guys out there that are already doing so then it allows you to remove this transmission out of there right because this is the weak link here this is only designed for about 100 kilowatts of power right about a hundred horsepower like you can get these transmissions you know you can change the gearing and weld them and you know use aftermarket stuff to soup them up uh and modify them so they can handle more you know 200 maybe 300 horsepower right but then that adds a lot of cost to that system you're talking about probably a five thousand dollar transmission right now if if once we do that um uh an easier way and a cheaper way moving forward is going to be to just use a tesla motor and a tesla motor will go in between there you remove the transmission and you use the differential from the motor and then those shafts just will attach right to that motor right uh and so then you eliminate the five thousand dollar you know high performance transmission and you just use the you know the one that the the differential that comes in the tesla drivetrain which is better because it's designed for that motor and is designed to handle the 400 plus pound feet of torque which is uh, about five six hundred horsepower right so that's one way to upgrade this and and doing this independent uh irs suspension or whatever uh, then allows you to do, do that upgrade moving forward which i uh plan on doing and i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it on this one but definitely gonna do it on my other bus this guy right here which is also uh i have a suspension that is being built for that that is very similar to this um this one right here it might be identical to it right i haven't seen it yet it's, it's not done uh people are still have to build it and stuff and modify the parts and stuff like that all right on the inside this one is almost the same as mine except that it doesn't have it's not a samba because it doesn't have the hole 
in the roof and it doesn't have the little windows on the on the roof either right but other than that it's also a walkthrough which i made it a walkthrough because this one when i got it the bulkhead the part that was here the wall that goes here to separate the front from the back was cut right so it's already you know modified and cut and so in order i had to repair it so i said well if i have to put work into it i might as well make it the bus that i like and i like walkthroughs right i don't like these ones that you're able to sit up there and then walk back and stuff right uh as opposed to the bench seats a lot of people like the bench seats but i just happen to like the the walkthroughs so these bulkheads here were taken from another bus you know i don't know somewhere back east some some someone took a bus apart and for some reason they cut it and the person that bought it was going to convert their 23 window from bench to walkthrough but they couldn't get themselves to do it which i think is a good idea you shouldn't change a 23 right you can change these ones these ones are there was more of them they were not as you know this one was in rough shape so i guess if you're uh, starting with a rough shape bus you can modify it to do whatever you want i mean you can do that to any car i guess right but it kind of hurts if you're you're taking a rare bus and modifying it and stuff you know if you're gonna modify something i say yeah you should probably pick something like this which is rough and take it and so he sold them to me and then i put them in here these are even the seats that came with them i got them at a really good price and then i bought all this stuff to for the panels and stuff they didn't have the color so that's why there's two colors but i'll i'll change that later these are i'll change these to match that color and then eventually this bus will be in this color um so those were added there welded i did all that work uh here is the dash this was cut here i think this this whole part was missing and um this had already been altered there's some welds in here like this whole front of this bus has been replaced so that dash didn't didn't match the year there's slight there's slightly there's a few little modifications right between the years and the one that was in there didn't match already the rest of the bus so i just thought well screw it i'm just gonna change it so i ended up changing that whole uh dash with the new one and this one's even from an older bus right and so this one still now doesn't match right and because i mean it didn't match already so i thought what's the problem so that's where it's at uh i have the mats there everything's ready to go i mean it, everything's gonna work uh this one's different than mine that has uh emergency lights and of course i got the radio uh mine doesn't have mine the 57s didn't have emergency lights which is kind of uh problematic i guess i should probably figure out how to add those to mine oh here's the thing that i want to show you guys while i was doing this i decided to make a little cup holder right because these there's absolutely no place to put a cup and if you go pick up food as i usually do i usually like to go and pick up lunch right and then i'm coming back and you know the the soda spills and it's all over the floor and it's all over your things and it's a big mess right so uh they usually make some cup holders that go here and they're made out of wire and stuff they look ugly i didn't like them right i want to have something that you you know that it's it hides away and then when you want it boom you just pull it out put your cup there there's one there i have one on this side too bam it's out of the way when you're driving it's there if you need to drink it's there right there we go so that's an, another little thing i will put those on my website so that if you have a bus and you want a cup holder i'll uh you know because I made a bunch of them because it costs the same as making one or making like 50 it's almost the same amount so uh yeah they'll be available and other than that i will put the electronics to to be able to monitor the battery and stuff over here so like i said apart from doing a couple of hard lines in there for the brakes this thing is ready to go to start being electrified so my question to you is how long do you think it's going to take me to electrify this bus um that's your challenge i want you to post that in the comments 
uh, I'll give you an idea, a rough idea. I, I think it's gonna be really quick because I've done a few of these before. Um, also, because all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the system from this bus and then throw it in here. So there's gonna be very little engineering done. That's all mostly done, right? But I guess that could also, I could run into problems because I'm not starting from scratch. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, you tell me, what do you think it's going to be the time? Is it gonna be a couple of days? Is it gonna be a week? Is it gonna be a couple of weeks? I hope not, because I really wanna get this one driving and I really wanna get starting. So the reason why I'm doing that is because this is, this is what I'm gonna drive for the time being and then while i work on this one this one uh i want to finish it and want to finish the restoration which is the the body and the paint right so i don't know if i'm going to do it myself or i'm going to send it to a shop uh but this bus will start the process of painting right of getting paint and stuff and so while that's happening then i want to be able to have something to you know get around town and stuff and so this is going to be that bus and so I wanna, I wanna get it done quick. I can't wait too long. And so I'm gonna start doing that today. I'm gonna finish the, the brakes and then I'm gonna start converting it. So you let me know how long you think that's gonna happen. Look, and to make things interesting, uh, whoever is the first to guess exactly how long or closest to how long it's gonna take me to do this process of conversion is gonna win this 8s module this uh it's 24 volts i don't really know the condition of these batteries but i think they were i tested them and they were good these were samples that that i got from a large batch of these and we were supposed to you know buy them and then offer them for sale to you guys but i think we passed them up not because these were bad or in bad condition it's just because the timing was wrong we didn't have enough money or something like that i don't kind of remember exactly but i have a couple of these and they're just sitting there and i think some of you guys out there should probably um could do something with these right 24 volts uh 18650s there's a bunch of cells in there um one two three four five six seven so 14 p 8s so 24 volts there you go if whoever uh guesses closes and gets it right then they'll I'll send you one of these. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.